Miho. Miho. Up to Miho. Anyone home? There is now. Just stepped out for a minute, you know. Believe me, I know. I was just asking you if something had happened to your bead. It looks brighter again. It does? Wasn't like that when I went to sleep. Maybe it changed overnight. Like your body, perhaps it needs time to process. Actually, I believe I learned something useful in that regard. I was able to get in touch with one of the curators from the exhibition you saw at Topopa. I mentioned the painting of Ogumio and asked if he knew anything about them, and he told me a very interesting myth. It says that not only is Ogumio's bead the source of her magic, but it also requires more magic to sustain itself. Most fable take their magic from the underworld source, but for those who don't come from the underworld, such as Miho, it has to come from somewhere else. Right. The memories. Yes, I believe so. Every time someone forgets about you, I believe your bead retains that memory as a sort of power. There was a second part to the myth as well. Once it's accumulated enough, Agumio can take that magic and make it her own, becoming something even more than Agumio. Something more? In what way? A Chanho. That's what I'd be if I swallowed the bee when it was ready. Tunnel, a sky fox. Swallowed it. I suppose that makes sense, but it hardly sounds pleasant. It isn't. Why now? I don't think that many people have forgotten me recently, but it started changing so fast. It's magic. Even as a boring old human, I can tell you that magic never works how you think it should. Not just magic, but also myth. Myths tend to have some roots in truth, but are incomplete or warped by retelling. Trust your eyes and your heart, not just what Aspen and I find. 
Right. Besides, who knows how much farther it has to go? It could keep getting brighter and brighter for a long time. I've seen... I'll see if it looks any different this time next week. If I do that, would it mean people stop forgetting about me? If my bead isn't there to steal the memories? That would be very nice, if so. Indeed. I couldn't say, but I share Aspen's feelings. As I'm sure you do, too. Yeah. I do. Hello, hello, Miho. Fancy seeing you here. Youngmin told me where you were. 
I was surprised you weren't at the fishing spot. Oopsie, I might be taking a little longer than I said I would, but I just can't decide. Are you getting a new rod? If I can settle on one, yes. I've narrowed it down to this one. And this one. What's the difference? The first one here has everything you could ever want. It's made for comfort and for power. The other one I'm looking at is more basic, as you can see. That sounds pretty easy. Why wouldn't you get the nicer one? Hmm... I guess there's just something about a simple, traditional design that appeals to an old geezer like me. It's hard to say no to the luxury of the other one. But Sounds like you've already decided then Oh? Yeah, I mean, it seems like you want the basic one Even though the other one is nicer hmm. You might just be right I'll take this one No, you picked a good time to show up. Why is that? I'll show you once the lessons are over. How's the new rod? Works like a dream so far. It's the old one I wanted to talk to you about, though. Here, I want you to have it. Me? Why? Better it go to someone who'll use it than just sit around collecting dust in the garage. Besides, you're going to need something reliable if you're gonna have a chance with the king! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. As long as you promise to give it a good home. I do. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, let's make sure we catch the king this year, hmm?
Be careful. If you drop it, we'll have to start all over. I'm not going to drop it. You carry it if you're so worried. I can carry it if you'd like, Pippa. It's fine. You guys look exhausted. Ugh. We are. Cello and I stayed up all night finishing our project. Armand was only awake for like half of it. You wouldn't let me touch the models, so why should I have to stay up? You too. Please. But we managed to get done. Since we're going back home tomorrow, we wanted to come show you and Ms. Aspen the final version. She gave us a lot of advice at the Bell House. And a lot of free refills. Yeah, Ms. Aspen was super nice to us. Is she around? Mm, nope. I haven't seen her yet today. I think she had a late night too. I'll try calling her. I'm going to go put this down somewhere. Oh, good idea. Sorry to wake you up. Miho? It's fine. Why are you calling so early, though? Is something wrong? Early? It's almost lunchtime. Huh? Oh, I was up so late last night. I remember. Did you get a lot done? I got a lot of worrying done, at least. That's about it. But I'll be ready for this evening. I didn't mean to sleep through breakfast. It's all right. Cello and the others are here, though. They finished their project and wanted to show you. But if you're too tired, I can just send you a picture or something. No, it's all right. I'll come over. I just need a bit to get ready. Okay. See you soon, then. See you. Morning. Actually, good afternoon. Don't remind me. I'm glad to see you, though. Same. Miss Aspen, over here! Mm. 
Miss Aspen makes me sound so old. Thank you for coming to see us. Were you up late working too? Something like that, yes. But not as hard as you were, it seems. Congratulations on finishing your project! Thanks! Me and Cello worked really hard on it. I guess Armand helped too. It was something the three of us all made together. But we wouldn't have been able to do that without visiting the Bell House. I'm very excited to see. Is it in the box? Here we go! It's incredible! Wow! Yeah, this is amazing! Thanks! You even got the bell above the door! How cute! It wouldn't be the bell house without a bell. The plants, too! Great job, everybody! Thanks for letting us spend time there. And for all the coffee! Of course. I remember the stress of homework and group projects very well. At least your group actually works together, instead of leaving it all for one person. That's right. Thank you as well, Ms. Miho. You would have never found out about the Bell House if you didn't take us there. No prob. I'll take any excuse I can to go there. It's true. I speak from experience. Hey, you're one of those excuses too. Oh, I'm the excuse, am I? So it's the free drinks you're really visiting for. Only sometimes. Sometimes you still make me pay. <laughs> Sounds like it should be always from here on out. Thanks again for all your help. Yeah, it was really nice.
nice meeting you. I hope we can come back to Wellington again sometime. Me too. Yes. I wish we could stay longer, but I also miss home. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I wasn't sure if I'd miss San Marina or not before we left, but now I definitely do. Funny how fast that happens, right? Yes. Take care, all of you. You're always welcome at the Bell House again. We'll definitely come back if we can. I will, I will. Okay, time to go. Goodbye, and thank you again. Goodbye. Bye. That was nice. I hope they get a good grade on their project. They better. It looks really good. Are you gonna be alright, though? You seem like you're about to fall over. I'm fine. It was nice to have the distraction for a bit. Now all I have left to do is wait for this evening. Wanna go in? Or are you gonna wait at home? I'd rather wait with you, if that's okay. Of course. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs>